pretty cool, isn't it? So exciting to be at Kensington Palace. It's gorgeous. And it's where the drama starts because it all begins at Kensington Palace. So it's amazing that this is where the show premieres. ITV's support of this show has been great. So good to be here. We did um, some interviews today in, in the room where she was announced queen. It's like power, a lot of power behind me. I can't quite believe it, actually. When I heard it was at Kensington Palace, I was just like, that's perfect. Yeah. Perfect place for a royal show. There's a rather large uh, statue of her over my shoulder. Of course, it is polystyrene, and it will be taken away at the end of the evening. Well, this is my house. It's the new house I've just bought. Um, it was a bit of a doer-upper, but um, we've stuck with it, and I think we've done rather well. I mean, Jen is a star, and we felt when we're casting a monarch, you know, someone with real power, someone who, when they walk in the room, you draw breath. I'm very excited to see the exhibition. I've never seen the episode before, so it's going to be a first. Uh, ITV have thrown on quite a party for us tonight. It's one of the best parts about tonight is seeing everyone. It's fantastic. It's a glorious evening. It's amazing. The messenger's here with the black armband. Your Majesty. This girl, this teenager, became queen overnight at 18. And bang, she was running this country. I intend to see all my ministers alone. This is not a game! Victoria was kept in that house from her, by her mother and, and Conroy. Now that I'm queen, I do not need your assistance. She sees that as being smothered and the Kensington system, so she wants to battle and find her voice as a queen. I wish to be called Victoria. Queen Victoria. It's the story of Victoria in the first three years of her life, and you get a very strong sense of both the triumphs and the tribulations, of which there were many. There's so much kind of historically and politically that, that's going on. The introduction of the railway, photography, the abolition of slavery. I think you'll be surprised at how much was actually correct from her diaries. Her feelings, her passion will surprise people and show them the side of Victoria they've not seen before. It's a very intimate human look at a monarch and I think that is a rather new thing. Her courtship with Albert was impossibly short. Love hit her harder and faster than I think most of us knew about Victoria. The very first monarch to be pregnant while on the throne. I do not need you to tell me what to think, Albert. She had a temper. Her stubbornness, her, uh, that's very fun to play. Beautiful set, like chandeliers and paintings. Uh, and it, yeah, really, really it Absolutely amazing. amazing. Things sourced from all over the world. The detail was just phenomenal. And then also downstairs, you've got everybody who works for the household. That's a different world again. A royal residence. I want to know what her favourite drink was. I heard it was a mixture of scotch and brandy. I think she'd be a great dinner table guest. Oh, if I was queen for a day. A great charity ball. That would just stop traffic in London. I would sort out Brexit. <laughs> I think she showed that a woman could be a really effective ruler, and I think that's a very important message for today. I hope people find it entertaining, poignant, funny, and also that they learn something about British history. <laughs>